In this tutorial, we will discuss the Use Multiple Assessments option. This is also known as Aggregation. There are three options available to you. We will briefly describe each. If you have completed several assessments on the same facility over a period of time and wish to see how your security status has changed, select Trend. If you have several separate facilities, each with their own completed assessments, and wish to see how they match up, select Compare. This will also evaluate the assessments as a group to show the security status for the entire site. If you have several partial assessments on the same facility, perhaps by assigning groups of assessment questions to different team members and wish to combine them into a single complete assessment, select Merge. We will now look at each of these options in more detail. First, add the files to be used. Simply click the Add Assessments button and select the desired files. They may take a few moments to load. The alias is simply a short name used to identify the assessments in the analysis charts. The assessment label default will be considered the baseline or primary assessment. It is the top file in the list. To change the file order, simply drag the files up or down. The rest of the information in this table comes from the assessments themselves. The rightmost columns show what standards or requirements are included in the assessments and will change based on the files loaded. The assessment compatibility refers to the percentage of similar standards and questions among the loaded assessments, not the consistency of the answers chosen for the assessment questions. With our assessment files successfully loaded, we are ready to select an aggregation type. We will select Trend. This makes the Information tab become active. The Information screen allows you to enter information that will be included in the Aggregation Analysis Report. This includes the name, facility, location, participants, and description. Some of the fields are pre-populated with text from the default assessment, but it may be edited as needed. Now, click the Summary Analytics tab to see the results of the aggregation. Remember that the Trend function is useful when you have performed several assessments on the same facility and want to examine changes to your compliance status. Accordingly, the first set of aggregation analysis charts show results over time. The first graph displays overall compliance by percent, with a breakout of standards versus components. The next two charts show the top five most and least improved security categories. The last chart presents the compliance status of each individual assessment broken out by security category. The Generate Report button will allow you to create and save a printable report of these results. It will include the text entered under the Information tab. The cell, the mode, and the network diagram come from the default assessment. You may generate the report in PDF format or in Doc or DocX format. We will now turn our attention to the Compare function. It is useful if your site consists of several smaller facilities, each with their own completed assessments. Compare allows you to see the differences and similarities between them and to evaluate the site as a whole. The first screen is the overall summary. It presents the analysis results as a roll-up of the separate facility assessments. The bar and pie chart show compliance broken out by components and standards. The chart on the right shows overall compliance broken out by security area. Clicking the Next heading will open the top commonly missed question screen, where you will see a table of missed questions from all the loaded assessments. A missed question is one either answered as no or not answered at all. The individual assessment comparison screen is similar to the overall summary, except that it presents the analysis results broken out by assessment. You can see the percent compliance by standard versus component and by security area. The cell is also shown to help identify the high-risk facilities. Notice the difference in cell between facilities comparing overall assessment values between high versus low cell. A low score in a high cell facility may be more rigorous than a high score in a low cell facility. 
you must select a topic before seeing any results in the best to worst screen. We will choose Account Management. The bar chart on the right then presents the percentage of each answer option by assessment. The bars are ordered to show the most compliant assessment at the top and the least compliant at the bottom. Recall that the merge function is used to combine partial assessments into a unified whole. This is useful if you completed parts of an assessment at different times and saved each of the parts under a different name. If the same question was answered differently in different assessments, it is considered a conflict and it should be resolved before proceeding. To do this, go to the Merge Differences tab. The table shows those questions needing review, grouped by topic. If the question was answered in the default assessment, that answer will be pre-populated in the table. Otherwise, it is blank. Simply click the answer you would like to use. Questions left without answers will be considered a fail or not compliant. Resolving a question puts a check mark in the box on the left to help you keep track of what is resolved and what still needs to be reviewed. If you agree with the default answer, you can manually add the check mark. To accept all the pre-populated answers under a heading, click the Resolve checkbox. With all the problem questions resolved, we are ready to create and save the new assessment. Unlike Trend and Compare, the Merge function creates a new assessment file rather than an analysis report. The new assessment can be opened in CSET, modified, or used to generate reports just like any other assessment. This concludes the tutorial video of the Use Multiple Assessments option. For additional information, see the user guide or the CSET help system.